Today, we will talk about equity swap. An equity swap is a financial agreement between two parties where they exchange future cash flows. This allows each party to diversify its income for a specified period of time while still holding its original assets. It is similar to an interest rate swap, but based on the return of an equity index. Swaps are very customizable and may involve an equity-based cash flow traded for fixed income cash flow. It should not be confused with a debt equity swap, which is a restructuring transaction. An equity swap is similar to an interest rate swap, but is based on the return of an equity index. It allows parties to benefit from returns of an equity security or index without owning the shares directly. Most are conducted between large financing firms and typically include payments linked to fixed rate or floating rate securities. The stream of payments in an equity swap is known as the legs, one based on the performance of an equity security or index over a specified period, and the other is typically based on the LIBOR, a fixed rate, or another equities or indexes returns. For example, a passively managed fund could enter into an equity swap contract to track the performance of the S&P 500 without purchasing various securities that track the index. If the S&P 500 falls over the next year, the fund would owe the investment bank the interest payment and the percentage that the S&P 500 fell multiplied by $25 million. If the S&P 500 rises more than LIBOR plus two basis points, the investment bank owes the passively managed fund the difference. These swaps are highly customizable and are traded over the counter. Here are three key takeaways. 1. An equity swap is similar to an interest rate swap, but rather than one leg being the fixed side, it is based on the return of an equity index. 2. These swaps are highly customizable and are traded over the counter. Most equity swaps are conducted between large financing firms such as auto financiers, investment banks, and lending institutions. 3. The interest rate leg is often referenced to LIBOR while the equity leg is often referenced to a major stock index such as the S&P 500. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.